All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Akarkadash. All praises to the world calls God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem meaning in the name, and Yahushai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful like preaching his word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Thomas Bond and Great Millstone, in Arizona, Canada, Motor Well, with another video to edify. And, um, you know, the, uh, the brother from the man of Valor Kent did, uh, did a lesson on this and, uh, I got to touch on it too, right? Cause the Lord said what to give the people warning from him. So this is a warning of things that are shortly to come to pass, right? It says Canada announces digital identity program in partnership with, uh, WF, WEF, it says the government of Canada announced it's working on a new federal digital identity program after partnering with Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum to help develop a global ID system. Canada joins the Dutch government uh, government in developing a digital ID system in partnership with the WEF. So not one, but two governments. Now, this has actually happened on a grander scale. Now, all this is referring back to the scripture where it tells you at the end it shall speak. Let me get it, man. This is... um. Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. And what, what is the vision that we're referring to in this in this, in this this scenario? The MOTB, this is Revelation 13. Oh, sorry, dear there. Revelation 13 and 16, it says, and he calls it all. Oh, uh, no, I got to start up. Verse 15, gets it more. Uh, Revelation 13 and 15, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he and he causeth all both small and great, great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a, a mark, which when you go into that goes into the word karakma, the root word for karakma is uh, karax. And a root for, word for Karak is grapho. And what you're seeing is all those aspects of that one word are fully being in, in, implemented right now. The, 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 the vision is speaking. It says, in their right hand or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right? So there's a system that's speaking right now. It's showing you that those things are happening. So back in Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Uh, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So the vision is speaking and not lying, right? It's, it's coming to pass. And when you read more on an article, it says the program seeks seeks to create digital a digital proof of identity document for all citizens, right? Rich and poor, free and bond that is logged in a system used uh, by airports, authorities, and government agencies. Now, <laughs> that deals with everyone, free and bond, right? If you want to travel, you got to have that. If, you, if, if, if the police pull you over, you got to have it. And if they see that you don't have it, they're going to try to lock you up, right? Free and bond. That if, no, if you didn't have it, what? Then you should be killed. This is prophecy, bro. Right? You can't get around this. It says details about the development of the federal digital identity program were revealed in the Canadian uh, government's ca uh, Canada's Digital Ambition 2022 report. It says the COVID, the COVID pandemic highlighted the need for government services to be accessible and flexible in, in the digital age right? because they shut everything down, making everything go digital. Right. 
So people had those struggles because what? They weren't opening the doors to anybody. So they said, no, nah, you know what? This is a reason why we must be digital. Right? It says the report published by the government reads, it says the next steps, the next step in making services more uh, convenient to access is a federal digital identity program integrated with uh, pre-existing provincial platforms. What are some pre-existing provincial uh, provincial pro platforms? Banking, right? Identifications, right? Government aid. These are all existing platforms that they're going to integrate these things with, right? We can't get around this. We're at the end and the vision is speaking. Now, all those that sat here and said that this wasn't, that the mark of the beast and all that. Hey, how, 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 uh, what system do you know currently? What technology do you know currently that can be used to do this? People, if you don't have your cell phone, how are you going to prove your identity? If your cell phone breaks, how are you going to prove your identity? You know what they're going to do? They're going to put this in your hands or your body, in your hand, in your hand or your forehead, as the scriptures say. It says digital identity. Uh, it says uh, digital identity is the e electronic equivalent of a recognized of a recognized proof of identity document. For example, a driver's license or a passport or a passport and confirms that you are who you say you are in a digital context. All right. So this this is all prophecy speaking. This is all prophecy speaking, man. And they're getting ready to roll this thing, man. They're getting ready to roll this thing. And people don't have any idea how bad it's really going to get. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this. I'm going to get another precept. That's Isaiah 62. And... Isaiah, Isaiah 62 and 6, Salakia. Isaiah 62 and 6, it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Right? Who are the watchmen and prophets? Who are the ones giving you the, the word on this whole mark of the beast coming out? Right? IUIC ain't talking about it. ISUPK ain't. Uh, uh, um, what is it? Uh, 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 right, Gorilla Hebrew and all that. They don't really that like they know what it is. They don't really go in it like that like we do. GMS is the real ones that are going through these things and giving you the warning. Every single time a little more information comes out on this system coming out because it's a major prophecy. The elders and apostles and the brothers that that hold on to the same doctrine as Great Millstone are always reporting on these things. So it says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of your howl, keep not silence, and give them no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right? So we're supposed to give warning. We're supposed to give warning. That's the job right now. And the warning is that they're getting ready to roll out this system. Now, for all those that didn't think that we we were men of the Lord, hey, the time is coming now where our words are going to be tested and you're going to see who was right and who was wrong. Right? Remember, at the end of the day, the Lord is going to justify. The Lord is about to justify. And the scriptures tell you wisdom. Let me get it. This is uh, Luke 7 and 35. It says, but wisdom is justified of all her children. You see? So you're going to, we're going to, hey, the Lord is going to test and see whose words were true and honest. Whose words were on the up and up. You're going to see who the Lord was really dealing with. 
This is um, Ezekiel 33 and 33. It says, and when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Right? Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And now these things are coming to pass. And people are going to, that's that, that thought is going to come into people's heads and be like, you know what? A man of great mills, so all right, baby. Thank you, Shalom. Slack about that, brother. Call. We're right back in this. Uh, Ezekiel 33 and 33, it says, And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. All right, so we're coming to the time where the Lord is going to test every brother's words and their work and see what sort it is. Now, if these things are happening, obviously the Lord is dealing with brothers that have the foresight to go into these things and understand and link into the prophecies. Right? Ezekiel, what is it? Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. I'm going to start at the top. This is Ezekiel 33 and 2. It says, Son of man, speak, uh, uh, son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring a sword upon the land, if the people of the land take take a man of their coast and set him for for their watch, if when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. And that's what brother, brothers have been doing with the coming famine, with the insurrection, with the time of Jacob's trouble. We've been going in all these with the mark of the beast. We've been going in all these. We've been blowing the trumpet to sound the people, to give them a warning, right? And then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, there is people taking no warning to this. No warning to this, but these things are being prepared. Why 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 aren't more Israelites putting a definitive line that no, nah, whatever the East whatever this devil promotes and tells you you need to put in your body, why 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 can you agree that he's a devil, but you're gonna let him do and enter things into your body? What, why isn't that a drawing point? Why isn't that a line that's been put up? Right? With the whole jab situation, you had whole whole Israelites. Whole, I'll, I'll say whole niggas posing as Israelites. Saying, well, you got to work, you, so get, go get the devil juicing you. Hey, the true prophets are going to tell you, you're going to have to sit here and set up a defense. You're going to have to sit here and draw a line and say, at some point, Right. And when this devil wants to put put things into your body, that's a that's a good place to start. Right. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if he if the sword come and take him, take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. And there's a lot of people whose blood is going to be on their own head. So verse five says uh, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. So those that are taking the warning, like it says in the book of Revelation, blessed are those that hear the words of this prophecy, right? And keep the things that are written therein. The Lord said what? Not mm -hmm. to take them. Right? So this is what's being prepared. The Lord is preparing these things for a reason. It's because prophecy is coming to pass. And they're about to sit here and do this thing at a, at a high level, right? Prophecy is going to speed up. Prophecy is going to speed up. The wicked are making their plans, they're plotting, right? But the Lord said what? And a foolish of his sufficiency, right when he thinks that he's about to make these things happen, right? He's going to be carried headlong. So Lord willing to edify, I'm going to say call all y'all, but she'll be on the shot, 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 but she'll be on the sh